Hello. Hello. Welcome back to another collaboration video. We share with you our favourite campervan meal. So we're back, back with another collaboration video with some absolutely fantastic channels on YouTube. Um, please check out their channel videos as well. It's all about cooking this week. Favourite camper meals, isn't it? It is. Um, and this is definitely Caroline's favourite meal. It is, it is mine. Yeah, normally our favourite camper van meal is a barbecue, so I'm not really sure if that qualifies as a, a camper van meal because it's outside. No, so I decided um, to cut one inside. But if you check up this over here, so above Caroline's head, you'll see all the different channels and if you can check out their, their videos too that'd be fantastic so without further ado let's cook so our favorite camper van meal or caroline's i don't mind it to be fair um is a really simple dish and it's something that is really good for perhaps winter when you're traveling often we leave on a friday night we'll arrive somewhere quite late if we're not able to go out and get some food like at a pub or a restaurant or something then we make this and it's a real good go-to meal isn't it it is it's my favorite and i also think as well if you've been at work all day and you travel on a friday night sometimes you get there you just want to set up you don't want to start thinking right where we're we going well i don't i'm quite happy to just swivel the chairs and watch ian do the cooking <laughs> so pasta not boring pasta but fresh pasta filled with stuff Really good thing with this pasta is it cooks in four minutes. So you literally got to boil the water. So that's it. Main ingredient for our dish is pasta. Salt, which we keep in the van to season the water. Butter to give it a bit of flavor afterwards as well. To keep in the van. And also, as we're splashing out, dough balls. These type are great. You can do them in the Ridge Monkey. The whole idea of our meal is it's two pans. So easy to wash up as well. Uh, one for the, for the pasta and one for the dough balls. So, so first of all, dead simple, fill your pan with water. Either bring it with you or boil it from there. I only intend to put the pan lid, you can show that down there, on top of that little thing, it's perfect fit. Water's boiling, so I'm just going to put some salt in. So once your water's on and it's ready, ready to boil, next part is Ridge Monkey. Um, so Ridge Monkey heats up in approximately a couple of minutes. I always cook it on the lowest heat settings. I turn this down right down to the lowest setting and then just literally put it on for two minutes before I put the dough balls in, seared like that, so they can sit on, and that's it. So for cooking, we've got the Ridge Monkey. And we've got the pan for the water for the pasta. That's it. So dough balls really easy. Just a tip: when you heat your ridge monkey up underneath, obviously it's very hot, the hot side. So flip it over first. Then it's a bit cooler, and then you can put your dough balls. Nice and neat like that. Oh, I dropped my missing. Oh, I lost one. That's yours. So what do you normally do while I'm cooking this bit when we get there? I sit and give instructions from the side, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Tell yeah. you what you're doing wrong, yeah. how you can improve. Best for this meal, it only takes four minutes. So when Caroline's really hangry, which is quite regular, <laughs> I get to feed her in like just, just over four minutes. Okay, so the pasta's cooked, four minutes, take that off. Put it back on there a second, drop your butter in. Drain the pasta, yeah? Drain the pasta, yeah, sorry, yeah. That's obviously vital. Just one point on that, drain it into a washing up bowl rather than your sink, because the pasta, the water's full of starch. Um, not particularly good for your air, for your drains. So I've uh, drained it into a washing up bowl, empty that outside later. Put that back on. And now, oops. Give it a shush. A what? A shush. And the butter will melt into the pasta. Voila! That was French, I learned that. Excuse fingers. Ouch. Oh, they're nice and fluffy. You can have one more. Mm, Put them round the butter to help the butter melt. Spoiling me you are. And your pasta. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> there you are. Done. Blended. Oh, sorry. They are done. It's very beige this dinner. You could add some tomato sauce with the pasta if you wanted, but I How like rude. it. I like it. That's it. Pasta finished. Hopefully there's some steam going everywhere. You can see what we've done. Finishing touches. 
Is it good? Is it good? Is it good? Usually it's pretty fail safe. Might be hot, sorry. Mm. Good? Yummy. Excellent. Dough balls? Good job. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.